Hey everybody, welcome back to Draft Magic. This is Marlon Egolf uh, for DraftMagic.com with another M11 draft. This is actually a special draft um, because I just had surgery two days ago on my foot and I'm on lots of painkillers. So this is not only an M11 draft to see if I can do well, it's to see how well I can do while heavily medicated. So uh, yeah, hopefully we can experiment with this and find out that drugs do pay and uh, you know they improve what you do anyway so there's two picks here obviously you can take the fireball or the sun titan you know get it not rare drafting at all not thinking about rare drafting it's kinda close but I think sun titan is probably the pick yeah I mean there's just too much too many broken things you can do with it other than the fact that it's a 6-6 six, six. um... well I guess might as well, uh, if you're going to play Sun Titan, might as well get back a Wild Griffin. That's good enough. Um, there's nothing really else here. Sun and Blood's fine. Basilisk is fine. Um, but let's just stay in white. Alright. So, uh, basically we can take three choices here. We can take the Cloud Crusader or the Azure Drake, which... Um, points us towards blue-white skies. We can take the Rock Egg, which is worse than those two, but does combo pretty well with Sun Titan. I'm not really worried about comboing with Sun Titan, since uh, it basically... It's a 6-6 six, six Vigilance for 6. Like, it's kind of just a combo with itself when it attacks and blocks. Um, and I think Azure Drake's a little bit better than Cloud Crusader, and I'd rather be in blue-white than white any other color. So we're going to try to hop in there. Hmm... Not really anything here. Let's see. Sarah Ascendant isn't very good in Limited. I mean, now there's that white life gain deck in Constructed, which actually makes this card worth a couple tickets, but we're not drafting for tickets. Um, so we can... don't really want to take Call to Mind. We can take a Spined Worm, or we can take a Chandra Spitfire. Let's see. Don't want to take the Ascendant. I uh, think I'm going to try the Spined Worm. If we didn't pass the uh, pass the Fireball, I probably would have taken the Chandra Spitfire. Well, we can uh, try to go back in blue with the Ice Cage, or try to stay in green with the Basilisk, the Ranger, or the Awakener Druid. Um, kind of a tough pick, actually. I think blue-white is a little bit better than green-white. And, um... Ice Cage goes good with Sun Titan. I'm not sure if this is correct, since Sylvan Ranger and Awakening Druid are both good cards to take with Sun Titan, but... let's try to stick with the blue. Alright, another Wild Griffin is fine. I'm also passing some more green. So, uh... The person to our left, if not him, then the person to his left should be green, since we're passing a lot of green. Alright, another Ice Cage is fine. Don't really want to pick up the Silver Coat Lion, we can just get more of them later if we even choose to play them. There's the Rock Egg we were talking about. It was good with the Titan. Um, nothing really here, so we can take the land. Uh, let's see, sideboard card. I hear this card might be alright. Brad Nelson seems to like it in certain decks. Um, I don't think it's that great in this deck, but if we need a guy to hold the fort with a uh, five toughness ass, then, uh, he could be okay. Not really a creature that I want to play main deck. Hmm, not a lot here. Guess I'll take the most annoying card. Hmm. Not really a big fan of Diminish, but if we have to play it, I guess we can. And nothing here. So this pack was alright. Hopefully we open a Frost Titan. Next pack, Bait Slayer. Maybe another Sun Titan. You know. Realistic expectations. Leyline of... Shitty. Well, if we were in green, Cudgel Troll would be fine. But we're not. Um, but, however, there's a Crystal Ball salvaging this pack. Uh, I'm a huge fan of Crystal Ball. And I love what it does for a deck. And it can help us dig for our Sun Titan. So, yeah. Good card. What else we got? Um, let's hide some crap. 
Hide red. Hide green. And cost sort. So it looks like the white knight is probably the pick here. Don't really want to siege Mastodon. Uh, there's a bunch of black coming around, but it makes sense. We didn't really pass any black. The guy to our right is probably black. So we'll take the white knight, which is the best card. Hmm. Alright. That's what I like to see. Um, Elite Vanguard would be probably subpar in this deck, um, but Air Servant is awesome, and we might actually wheel one of these cards, maybe a Flash Race for the board, Safe Passage, or uh, maybe even uh, the Vanguard, which we might play main deck. But Air Servant is just awesome. Hmm. Alright, well, we could take a Squadron Hawk and hope to pick up a bunch more, or we could take the safe route and pick up the Drake. Well, I think the Drake is clearly the pick here. Um, oftentimes I'll take a Squadron Hawk sometime early in pack one when I try to go blue-white skies and I'll just never see another one. Um, you know, sometimes you get the decks where you have three or four, but that's few and far between. As a Drake is certainly the safer pick. Ooh, and Aether Adept is certainly a welcome addition. Um, passed a few death marks, so those will probably come back to bite us in the ass at some point. Hmm. So, another Ice Cage or an Excommunicate? Not really sure. Ice Cage is a little better, but when it's worse, it's way worse. Um, where Excommunicate is always pretty decent. We are kind of low on two drops, but that shouldn't be a problem. We'll probably table a Maritime Guard or two, which we can run if we need to. I think we're going to take the Excommunicate. Diversify our responses. Now I kind of wish I took the Ice Cage. So let's see. Unsummon or Excommunicate? I think Excommunicate is just better than Unsummon. No, they serve different roles, but I like what Excommunicate can do. We had another death mark. So that's I think that's three that we've passed so far in pack two. So Augury Owl or Mighty Leap? I'm not sure if this is the correct pick, but I think I want the Owl just to help us scry into our Sun Titan. Alright, so um, in case we need to block two twos, we can play a Maritime Guard. Not a huge fan of it, but it does work sometimes. Uh, let's see, the most annoying card against us is probably Wall of Vines. Um, don't want to run two of those, but you never know. Second Maritime Guard. Take the Demon's Horn from the guy who took the Phylactery Lich. Alright, so our deck looks decent. Let's see. So we can hide that. And we still got one more pack to go. Hmm. Magma Phoenix, Doomblade, Pacifism. Well, I think we know which one we're picking here. Um, if not for that Pacifism, we'd probably take the Infantry Veteran. Um, yeah, if not for that Pacifism, this would be a pretty sad pack to open. But I'm glad it's in here. It's certainly a welcome card. Don't really like passing Magma Phoenix, but I guess we can just excommunicate it a couple times. Ooh! Now this is a good pack. <laughs> um... Holy shit. Well... Stormtide Leviathan is really, really good, but it's a little too expensive, I think. Um... For C is awesome, Jason Ingenuity. I'm gonna hide these for right now. I think the Conundrum Sphinx is the pick, just because it's a 4 4 fly for 4. And it combos very well with our Crystal Ball and our uh, Augury Owl. Um, there's three cards in here. I hate that I'm passing, but. You know, gotta do it. That's what happens when you open a really good pack. You know, why couldn't one of those cards have been in this pack? So this is the pack for the green player. And yeah, there ain't shit in here for me. Uh, we're gonna take the cancel. Wow. All those good cards. And they're just in one pack, and the rest of these packs have just been garbage. Brutal. Um, yeah, I'm taking the preordain. Alright, that's not so bad. Water Serpent's pretty awesome. 
the late Chandra's outrage. Uh, let's see, I don't know if I'm going to play this, but we'll take it anyway. Yet another ice cage. I don't think we want another diminish, and I don't think we need an alluring siren, so we'll take the ice cage. Hmm. Don't think we need the unsummon. Don't think we need call to mind. I think we're taking the fire serpent so that person we pass the fireball to doesn't have it. Um, let's see, take the most annoying card. So this is going to be that pack, that crazy pack, and we'll see if anything tabled out of it. Hmm. Excommunicate, which we don't really need. But I suppose it's the best card in the pack. I'm not going to play Golden Glow Moth, no matter what. So, seriously doubt I play three of these, but it's kind of annoying against me, too. Noticing that we don't have a ton of white, but I think Sun Titan's worth it. Um, we've got a lot of blue, and um, all our white is playable. We don't have any bad white cards. So, uh, it looks like our deck turned out pretty decent. Let's see, anything good here? No. Uh, take the dog. Let's see. Yeah, nothing really important. So it looks like we have our deck. Couple bombs. Not bad. It's card filtering. Always nice for the uh, crystal ball conundrum sphinx combo. Alright. So, basically just about all of our white cards. And let's see, blue cards, Sphinx, Sphinx, Drake, Drake, Adept, at least two Ice Cages, Augriel, Preordain, Crystal Ball, okay. So now let's see, so I want the Cancel, third Ice Cage, they like to run 18 land, so I think I'll increase the curve a little bit with the Harbor Serpent. I don't think we need to run Maritime Guard in the main deck, although they were probably fine out of the sideboard. Two Excommunicate seems fine. Um, you don't want too many Excommunicates if you have three Ice Cages. Let's see, you don't really want to run the Can Cricks. Um, you've got Water Serpent. Harbor Serpent and uh, Rock Egg to hold the ground if we need to. Uh, Maritime Guard, like I said, uh, never been a huge fan of Diminish. Um, more of a sideboard card. Pretty much every all of the rest of our cards are sideboard card. We have the Excommunicate, and then um, sideboard cards against aggressive decks, um, sideboard cards against green decks, um, and sideboard cards against artifacts and enchantments. So I think we're good. Let's see, add land. So I'll take out an island and add the expanse. One, two. You know what? I think, since most of our white stuff is early, I think we need one more land. So that's eight, nine, and one. Alright. I think we're good.